Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we have a brand new digital pattern making tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, and this week I'm going to show you how to add curvature to your darts. So you have a diamond dart, I'm going to show you how to add that curvature in there to give you a beautiful, clean, smooth, let's say, finish when it comes to your finished garment. So nice, smooth, clean shape over the waistline and also the bust and other areas of the body. Anyway, this was actually inspired by uh, some work that I'm doing on a client's block at the moment. I actually did a little post about this on Instagram and obviously somebody asked if I could show that tutorial. So here it is. Let's get started. Okay, so what is block curvature? Um, okay, so this is our finished pattern. Now, as you can see, this is essentially smoothing these lines. So if we head on over, let's get the same pattern piece. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it next to its uh, counterpart, the one that's actually been refined. Now, it's not really block curvature, it's more a case of, let's say, smoothing these darts or these edges. So, for example, if we were to use this sharp edge here, we might get a little indent on the side of the body which wouldn't actually smooth over the body, whereas here you can see we have this lovely smooth line that goes either side. So, we're just basically going to be curving these, uh, let's say, dart edges. So to do that, it's really very, very simple. There's this really handy little tool. So if you're in Adobe Illustrator CC, the latest version, if you go to your small selection tool, click on the line, and then click on the point, you will see this little, uh, let's say, what would you call it? Like a little handle appear. And if I just simply click and drag that handle, you can see that it starts to curve that line. And the further away you drag that line, the more curvature you get. Now, that's great, but we want to kind of control this, okay? Because we might apply curvature to this side, but we might not apply the same curvature to the other side of the block. And I'm just going to explain what I mean by that. Let's just get rid of that. So let's go back to our actual A-line dress block here, which hasn't got the curvature on it. So let's just zoom in. And this can be any block whatsoever, anything that has this sharp edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little template. So I'm going to say, right, I want my curvature to be, I'm going to put a small selection tool, click on the line, click on that point, and I'm going to curve it. And we say, okay, that looks like a pretty decent, let's say, curvature. And as you can see, we have a point here and a point here. And that's what it's basing that curvature between. It's basically curving between these two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance between those two points. I'm going to click get my line tool. I'm then going to click and drag down to my waistline. And that is 3.11 centimeters, which is great. So I now know that this curvature is going to be 3.11 centimeters either side of my waistline. So now I'm going to create a little template. And you can make that, you know, the temp it can be as, as, as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on how much curvature you want in there. So I'm going to get a line tool. Let's just create this template. I'm going to click and drag over my waistline. I'm going to get my big selection tool. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hit the Enter key on my keyboard. I'm going to go zero horizontally and then vertically up. I think it was something like three point something something. I'm just going to use 3.5 because it's the concept that matters, not necessarily how much we're going to be going up by. And I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to get that line again with my big section tool. Just select it, hit the Enter key on my keyboard, hit zero horizontal and 3.5 vertically, hit copy. And so this is going to be my template. And we can even make it blue if we want. And I'm just going to group these. So you've got object and then group so that now when I move them, they're all grouped together. So this is going to be the points at which my, let's say, side seam, I'm going to change or curve this side seam. So uh, now I have my, let's say, template in place. I'm going to click on my line with my small selection tool. I'm going to click on this line here. I'm going to go to the plus anchor point tool, and I'm going to add a plus anchor point where that line intersects, where my template intersects the side seam. Same with the other, I'm going to add a point here as well. Now, when I click on the small selection tool and I click on that point, my little anchor appears, and if I click and drag it, it will only go so far. <clears throat> It'll go to that 3.5 centimeters that I requested. And you can see, because obviously it's red, and it will not move any further, which is really handy. So I now know that if I apply this template to all the seams, or all the, let's say, the dark edges on my block, or all the, the pointed edges or corners on my block, it'll curve it by that 3.5 centimeters. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to click, get my big section tool, click on this item here, drag it over to the opposite side, and then get my small section tool, click on the line. So I'm selecting the line first. Go to the add anchor point tool, and then add it where those lines intersect. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little minus point here. There's a little, a little anchor point. So I'm just going to remove that. So I'm going to go minus that one. And now I'm going to get my anchor point tool. Sorry, my small section tool. I'm going to click on that point, click on the line, click on that point, and then you can see we have that little control handle. I'm going to move it out. Now I might have to move across a little bit. Uh, let's just move that across, and there we go. So that's now also uh, curved by 3.5. Going to move this across, so big selection tool. Just click and drag it over to the next point. Get my small selection tool, click on the line here, 
get my plus anchor point tool, click where that line intersects, get my minus anchor point tool because there's a spare one here. And I don't want this point here because when I click and drag this out, it's going to hit that point and not the actual point that I'm looking for. So I'm going to minus that and I'm going to go to my point and I'm going to click and drag until it goes red. So we have curved this line, this line, this line, and we're also going to curve this one down here as well. We've got a slight little notch in there. So I'm going to get this. I'm just going to simply click and drag it. So big selection tool to select the item. Click and drag it over to the waistline. I can even nudge it around with my arrow keys if I want. So up and down, etc. And then let's go to my small section tool, click on the line, then go to my plus anchor point tool, add an anchor point, add an anchor point, and then we can go to our small section tool, click on that line there, and then just click and drag until it goes red. Perfect. I'm just going to move along my block and keep doing this. Once again, get my small selection tool, go to the plus anchor point. Perfect. Click and drag. Next one. So really simple. So select the line with the small selection tool and then click on the plus anchor point where those two lines intersect, which is great. Let's click on that point and then click and drag out. And we can also, let's get our big section tool, click and drag this down to this piece here. Get my small section tool, click on the line, click on the add anchor point, add my anchor point to where it intersects, and go to our small section tool, click, and then drag. Once again, same on this side, I can actually duplicate this, make two of them, so I can do it quicker if I like. Let's go to our small section tool, select the line, let's add an anchor point here, 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 oops, a little bit too high, here and also here, small section tool, click on that point. Okay, so if for some reason you're not getting that anchor point, there is a reason why. And the reason why is because there might be two points here. So let's just go to minus anchor point, just hit minus once. So let's do it again, so let's, I click it once, that removes one of the points. If I click it again, we move both. So we just want one point there. Let's get our small section tool. Click on that point and now you can see my anchor has appeared. So if for some reason there are two points in the same vicinity, that anchor point's not gonna work. And once then click and drag that one also. Okay, that's great. So essentially what we've done is we've basically started, we've curved the, let's say, edges of this block to give us a lovely smooth curve over the body. But you probably aren't gonna be working with a block like this. So I'm gonna show you how to do this just on a simple basic block with obviously uh, diamond darts. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this block in here, it's full scale. And as you can see, we have our diamond darts here. And we have this one as well. So some people might think that it might be a good idea to, let's say, let's get this small selection, this small point here. Let's get our small section tool, click on this point. And then we're gonna to go to our uh, convert anchor point tool. I'm going to click and drag and you can see we can create a dart in this manner but unfortunately we're actually removing away from the block here. We're removing, uh, let's say, uh, we're removing, not distance across the body, how can I say it? We're removing the pattern mass. So in other words, this is not a, a good dart. I'm not being particularly eloquent right now but uh, this is not a particularly good dart because you're going to have a very sharp point here. It's removing a lot of uh, fabric away from this block. So the kind of block you're looking for, the kind of dart you're looking for is, if I click on this point and I click and drag, this is a more appropriate dart. Okay. Same on the opposite side. Click on that point in the small selection tool, click and drag, and that is a far more, uh, let's say, beautiful dart. And once again, to do that, you can use that template. So let's just get the waistline and we'll say, okay, I'm gonna go up by minus 3.5. It can be anything. Let's hit copy and let's also go down by 3.5. Let's hit copy. And I can actually take this and also apply it to my front. And then now with my small selection tool, I select the outline. I then get my add anchor point tool and I then add my anchor point, anchor point, anchor point, anchor point. And then small selection tool, click on that point there click and drag until we see the red line. There we go. Click on that point, click and drag, red line. Same here, I'm gonna add an anchor point. Anchor point, anchor point, anchor point. Click on that point there with my small selection tool, click and drag. And then click on that point as well, click and drag. And there we have some lovely, let's say, uh, dart shaping. We can even do exactly the same with the waistline as well. And I think I've completely overwhelmed this point now. I think you kind of get the idea. But I'm just going to do it anyway just to finish it off. But it's a really very, very handy tool in Adobe CC. I don't think it actually exists in any of the other uh, forms of Adobe Illustrator. 
Okay, so that's how we add curvature to our darts to create that beautiful, let's say, clean curve over the waistline. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got loads more content coming your way and we'd hate for you to miss it. Also, if you want to follow us day to day, then please head over to our Instagram account. We've got loads of behind the scenes videos that show you kind of our work on a day to day basis. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care.